And here we go. Game 11 for the Black Pirates. We are playing our final game against the White Pirates, at least of the regular season. This is our next to last game of the regular season in all. We got one more against the Gray Pirates. Um, on the line here is playoff seating. We are already going to be second or third. It depends on who wins this game as to who is second and who is third. We're basically tied right now with White. So if we win, we're home field advantage. We're the second seed in the playoffs. If they win, they got home field advantage. They're the second seed in the playoffs. The only real difference there is going to be who's the home team because we're both going to play each other Monday for round one of the playoffs. So it's already been determined. Monday will be white and black for the playoffs. Just are we home or are we visiting? Do we have home field advantage or does the other team have home field advantage? That's what's on the line. Thank you. 
Well, top of the first inning is complete. We get two hits, we get two strikeouts, but unfortunately with runners on first and second, we ground out for out three and the inning is over. We scored zero runs and now we go play defense. So yeah, now they're on defense, time for the list of excuses. We have two players lost for the season to injuries. We have two more players who right now are playing while they're hurt. They've been hurt for several games now. Uh, two players who were sick. Actually, one of them is also one of the players who's hurt. And we had one player who couldn't make this game because she had other stuff going on today that's pretty big in her life. And so she had to go take care of that. And so she's not there, too. So, yeah, we're down to only three outfielders in the game. And for part of the game, we only have two outfielders. It's going to show. I'll cover that when we get that ending. That's later in the game. So, yeah, in spite of all that, uh, we still play a lot better than we have in previous games, though. Not as many errors even though we got all this stacked against us. A good start. One pitch in, and we have our first out. It was a very simple one to three ground out. Oh, 
And she is out after working a full count. Pop fly to the first baseman, and we have our second out on our second batter of the inning. Good defense here. So here's the E5, third base misses it, rolls in the left field, left field misses it, and that could have been a ground out the first, instead it was an inside the park home run, and uh, man, we should have picked the bat up here, because this girl had to really watch her step coming down there. That's the same girl that made the really good catch that we borrowed in the last game. Uh, either way, good thing she didn't step on that bat and get hurt. We got to remember in uh, future games where we catch her, grab that bat, and toss it off out of the baseline. So we should be tied at zero, inning over. Instead, they have a one-run lead, and they are continuing to play. Next chance to end the inning with only one run scored. Instead, it's an E8. Center fielder just barely overran the ball and couldn't catch it. Uh, this is actually her only error of the game. In fact, she actually has a really good pay play backing up second base here later in the game. So, much improved for this player. bobble right there will be an e3 had she had caught it cleanly we had to run her out but uh one hand good heads up play going home seeing the runner was scoring on the other hand she could have reached out to her right and tagged the other girl who let off the base a little bit there let's watch it again up close yeah so right here you see she's about to see the runner <laughs> at home the runner at first let off then cut back there's a lot going on in that play this is why i have to show it twice so you can watch it again without me talking And still, the bat laying in the baseline. God, that's dangerous. We've got to work on that. So we've still got two outs. We've had three chances to get the third out and have not gotten a third out yet. That's an RBI triple, and the White Pirates now lead 3-0.
Ball gets by the catcher, so four runs have scored for the White Pirates. That is strike three for out number three. Finally, we have ended the first inning. White Pirates lead four to zero. What's up, man? What you know good? Man, I'm just living. How are you? Make them all with the pressure,
Throw from the shortstop. It's a close play, but we are out at first. I'm good, Carter. I don't like these cold water on me. Does he think it's water? I'm waiting for the battle of the ball. Get it. Pitcher, man, that's a good catch. She has done that several times, but either way, we move the runner over, but we are out at first for out number two. Again, though, that, that pitcher, she has made that catch several times against us. That's a really good play. Oh, 
boys, we're counting down. Three, two. Oh, down. Ooh, take your face. Oh, it's back at the top of the lineup. Hey, Katie's not coming. Scratching her, she's up next. You got a school book? Sorry. Does uh, Dana have it over there? Home book, Katie. Katie's, Katie's not, here. not coming. All right, they got Terry it. put 99 in. Katie, no show. Put it up. Good. All right, there we go with a base hit. Scores one run. How about that? We're on the board now. It is one to four. So I am loving the base running here on second base. Uh, she has been getting really good leadoffs, really aggressive. She baits a lot of throws. So we got probably four girls on our team who are doing that a lot. So yeah, I love watching this girl run bases and get leadoffs. So she does a really good job there. Batters working with a full count. Base hit up the middle. Defense goes for the out at second. They don't get it. We are safe at first and second. And off of the play, we get an RBI. The score is now two to four. Come on, 
Well, that's the middle of the second inning. Black Pirates score two runs, leave two stranded, and we still trail two to four. So a small rotation here, we're actually going to switch our shortstop to play catcher, and our catcher is going to play shortstop. Uh, this is not their primary positions, we're just letting them rotate a little bit here. But uh, the girl playing at catcher now for this inning actually was a catcher for me a year ago. She's a really good catcher, but she is awesome at shortstop, so I don't let her play catcher very much. So we worked this out kind of earlier on that let her get a couple more of these out of the way because when we start playoffs, I want this girl playing shortstop. The other girl plays catcher almost as good as she does, so we'll let her catch for the playoffs and let our shortstop catch for an inning or two here. They are going to hit this one right back to the pitcher. Pitcher makes the throw a hair off the first base. She adjusts, makes the catch. That would be out number one. And another one hit back at the pitcher. Another throw to first for out number two. So three batters into this inning. We already have two outs.
Close play for the White Pirates, but she is safe at home. White Pirates now lead 5-2. And here goes a base hit up the middle. No error on this play. She just hit it between our defense. So balls ro rolls out to center field there. The center fielder catch it, brings it back in. Uh, that's a good play by our center fielder. She's had a lot of errors this year, and she does a lot better in this game. Just had to reach the shortstop. Looks like the first baseman's going to roll up to it, get it, and throw the ball back in. Close play here at third, but the runner was safe. So not really an error. Just a short shortstop there going for it. I mean, she could have had it, but she didn't get a good jump. And either way, it was a good play by everybody else to cover the defense there and get the ball back in and limit the damage. So here the first baseman sees the ball rolling out in the right field. She goes and gets it. The... Third baseman sees the ball is coming in short. She runs up and catches it so it don't get past her. I mean, that's a good heads-up play by both of them. So, good way to limit the damage there. Come on, Bree. Strike her out. Ball's hit down a baseline. We are there to get it, but it rolled fast. Come on. Keep up the good work. Come on, Mildred. Just back with my hand. Alright, let me get that out. Yeet! Yeah. Keep your eyes open, Bree. Wait, wait on. Come on, Mildred. Come on, Mildred. Oh, that ball was smoked at the first baseman. She can't come up with it. Either hits her in the ankle or the glove or something. The pitcher picks the ball up, throws it back to first, but uh, there's a collision here at first base. Let's wind it back and look at this again. So here you see the ball come off. First baseman go back to cover. And her foot slips in the bag. She falls over and takes out the runner with her. That's a bad play. Fortunately, everybody's okay. Going to give you a heads up there now because they're both banged up a little bit, but they're both okay. Here you see her foot slip a little. Yeah, I hate that happen. She's good. She's good. I think anybody will be hurting her. She landed on her elbow. She hit her in the head. So obviously, first thing, everybody goes there and checks on the base runner. Uh, she's okay, but right here, I notice as the uh, first and second baseman are walking back, I notice the first baseman limping a little, and she looks a little banged up too. Of course, she's been banged up for a good week now. Yeah, she's been injured, I think, several games in a row, so I walk out there and check on her, and uh, she's all right. She's just sore. 
But uh, at this point, the, their base runner's already got up. She's okay also. So, yeah, it's the first baseman of ours. Good Lord. She's still got a bruised knee, still got a bruised back. Both can get hit by pitches in the fall in practice. Uh, she slips and falls again here. Hands on top of all that, she's fighting allergies and is kind of under the weather a little bit this week too. So, yeah, she's having a bad week, but still making most of the place. And there the runners going for third. We throw the ball. She is out. That would be the end of the inning. Get her. Get her. Out. At the end of two, the Black Pirates still trail. Now it's two to seven. <laughs> So no real errors for that inning, except for the one that play at first there where the runner and the first baseman collided. That uh, that resulted in a runner scoring, by the way, while we cover all that. I didn't mention the runner scored at home during all of that. So we give up one, one run off an error. And the runner that got on base because of the error ended up getting thrown out and stealing third. So it worked out. The three runs they earned here, pretty much legit. You know, that's... They aren't all of them, so no excuses to be made there. So that's why we're now trailing two to seven. Right here, right here. He was like in the dislocation. She's like, no. She's a dog. Look at her. What? She's the She's just saying something. Ooh, you're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. That's what I'm saying. What? I'm not saying hell. It's not. He's never gonna let anyone else go through it. He says next game is the last yeah. game. Because he said they don't like they only like how do they not like the changes when she can't even You haven't seen me pitch in like a whole two months. Yeah, she might have to play some more. Especially Nice. The answer will be negative 90. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
If somebody does that, then you gotta be able to the ball. Because it's bang, bang. She has much as much right to make it throw on the ball. I mean, she does. They just have to collide at the same time. Balls in, ladies! Balls in, ladies! What? Ooh. Ooh. All right, we are starting the third <laughs> inning. Here you go. That's not the number. Oh, give it to the coach. Go. Full story, bro. I don't know what to tell you. These guys should make them keep getting up. So the answer is to write that right Oh, two, oh, two. You get a negative. Right. You get a man. Mm. Okay. One down. That says, that says 10 minus 100 equals negative 90. That's what that says. Negative energy. Integer. <laughs> What's your daddy oh, yeah. you need playing golf, come on. That's what my bank account looks like after y'all get shopping. Yeah. 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 You don't. You don't. He saved you. Oh, I'm not sure Alright, here we go. Alright, man, Oh, it's sad. It's sad. One, two. And that's a base hit for the Black Pirates. We are safe at first. That was a trick. Mm -hmm. Did you split him up? I want you to You good? We did so bad this game. We're doing this very terrible. Okay. Uh, um, you, that foul ball? I was wanting it to go straight in the next one. <laughs> oh, oh, it's down and it's fine. in the knee again, the same knee too.
Because she's a left-handed bitter. Oh. She's too good at this framing. <laughs> One strike. And that's a base hit. The runners are safe all around. They threw it to third. Actually, third baseman might could have got by that, but she had just slid, so too late. Either way, we're all down, and the bases are loaded. It's time to start a rally, Black Pirates. Maybe that panic will help you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, you cannot. Lily's wrong. There's no other people not to go. She could have made that. Oh, if you're standing on the blanket, yes. If you're standing on the blanket, I'm not walking out of this airport. Yeah, that's fine. Good save, kid. I got you. <laughs> All right, good eye from the catcher. She takes a base on balls off a three and one count. That will walk in the runner at third, and we now trail three to seven. Hey, YouTube channel, how y'all doing? All right, everybody on YouTube channel, say hi back. I believe that was my third baseman saying hello. I like that, Jack. <laughs> And once again, the catcher from the White Pirates, she is showing off some acrobatics there. From my perspective, it looked like she was doing cartwheels out there, but she is catching the ball and putting on a show. Oh, this side, too. Close. Good job, Jess. Here we go. We have a full count with one out and the base is loaded.
Here we go, pop fly stays in the infield and it is caught. But unfortunately, our base runners took off over here at second base and we get a double play against us. That ends the rally. We leave two runners stranded on base. Should have left three right there, but either way, a base running error ends the inning. We only got one run that inning. We trail three to seven. So you may remember a few games back, I noted that they used an infield fly rule against us. I say used. I should say they called an infield fly rule. That was the only time in, you know, three, four seasons now doing this I have ever seen an infield fly rule called. They normally don't, and it kind of threw me off that one game that they did. But either way, I don't mind because them not calling it allows us to teach our base runners good base running mechanics, learning when to run and when not to run. So they didn't call it here. Uh, we get out. It, you know, we're going to lose the ball game. But in the end, uh, we hopefully learned a lesson on base running. Yeah, so if you notice the scrambling around here, um, remember I mentioned in the beginning of the game that we're short two players to injury. We have another player who couldn't make it to the game. We got two players aren't feeling well. Well, one of those players not feeling well is not going to play this inning. So we are scrambling to shuffle our lineup around to cover this. In the meantime, I don't have nobody out there to catch for the pitcher because I'm having to pull a shortstop out to go be a catcher. So my third baseman grabs a glove and out there warms her up for a second while I'm still trying to shuffle the lineup. I was debating on moving my first baseman in the shortstop and pulling an outfielder to play first, but we decided instead to pull a left fielder to play shortstop and leave the infield where they were. So, yeah, kind of a last-minute decision there. I think in hindsight I'd, I'd rather went the other way, left my left fielder out there, pulled my center fielder to come play first and put my first baseman at shortstop. But, uh, like I say, this was a very quick decision wasn't really ready to make so I came up here and let the umpire know what was going on that you know if she gets feeling better and comes back in then she can just go in the outfield and resume play in the outfield but either way this inning's about to get rough we only have two outfielders and it is going to show Turn! 
Somebody get the bat. Anybody. Don't all move at the same time. Come on, girl. So I'm calling this an E6. I really don't have a very good view of it, but that's our left fielder coming in to play shortstop, and it just it showed right here on this play. And we didn't have no outfielders out there, so the ball kind of rolled around a little bit before we were able to get it and throw it back in. Here's your zoomed-in view here. But, yeah, uh, and it, she's a good infielder. Uh, the girl we've got playing left field in this game actually plays second and shortstop quite a bit for us. She's really our main backup for the middle infield. But either way, you know, it just it happens. She was uh, we figured out pretty quickly she's really good in left field. I like leaving her out there. But you know, mistakes happen and we have nobody to back her up here. So the ball here is hit to the backup shortstop. She fields it, makes the throw, but they are safe by about a step. I think if we had our main shortstop in there, she'd have got that ball there hair faster, and we would have got her out. But either way, that's a good play by the backup shortstop. Uh, she is really good, and I like letting her play there. But, you know, she maybe is a step behind our main shortstop as far as how far she's come along, but she is still – we are glad to have her there backing up shortstop. She is really good to play that position in the event like we're in right now where we had to pull a shortstop to be a catcher. Oh, no, ball's dead. Nice try, though. And unfortunately, that was a dead ball because it got past the pitcher, got past the shortstop, and all the way out in the left field. And unfortunately, she got it and threw it back in, but thank God that was a dead ball. Great try, great try. Yeah. Love this umpire. We had him a lot last year. Uh, we ain't had him yet this year, though. It's the first game we've had this entire season from him, so glad to have him back. Oh, close play at third. We're going to call it an E5. It might not have really been an error. I think had she had called the play a little sooner, the pitcher would have backed off and she could have caught it. But you notice right there, they both realized they were about to hit each other. So the third baseman lit off a little, and that's why she didn't catch the ball. So, yeah, you know, maybe for future reference, we should actually call. I got it when you're going for the ball. She didn't, and I think if she did, she would have actually been able to make the catch. Be the way, that's a, it's a really good attempt by a third baseman. I mean, a year ago, she was my first baseman. She has really come a long way in the past year. Uh, I play her a lot at uh, shortstop and at third this season. Oh, 
Nice. That ball is hit up the middle. Just gets by our second baseman. That's time to air. That's just a good hit. Rolls out the center fielder. She throws it back in. And what is the first baseman doing over at shortstop? We've got to watch this one again. So let's look at the good plays here. Ball gets in the outfield. Outfielder catches it. Good job. Gets it back in. Was the ball coming in? Uh, second baseman on catch up. Look at this. The first baseman is at shortstop, picking up the ball, rolling around. Man, good heads up play there. She got all the way across the infield to get there. Here, the first baseman's off screen. Uh, the play is over at first. She's got no job left, so she runs over here and starts backing up second. And then she gets the opportunity to go out and short and make the play. That's how she got there. That's just good heads up thinking there. How about that drum beat in the background? It sounds like the Braves are about to start doing a tomahawk chop over here. <laughs> All right, so this uh, player you're seeing here for the White Pirates, I've actually known her for several years. She used to come over here and practice with my daughter before she ever played softball on a rec team. And uh, she played for me last season, too, and she hadn't ever gotten a hit on my team, but watch what's about to happen here. That's a base hit. Pitcher catches it, throws it to first, but the ball is thrown a little wide. And if you remember what we said earlier, we don't have a right fielder. So there is nobody backing her up. She has to run all that in right field and get that ball. Throw it back in. That would be a triple for the player I was just talking about on the White Pirates. All right, we got a good stretch here by the first baseman. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm only 5'11", I didn't leave her good enough jeans to be any taller, so she couldn't reach it. She runs out right field, gets the ball, throws it back in, and we at least hold the runner at third. We run out there and give her a high five real quick for getting a triple there. That was a good hit. That ball is popped up. First baseman goes for the catch. Oh, she just couldn't get it. That would be an E3. Uh, no harm, no foul there, though. The ball went in foul territory, so it wasn't a hit. Yeah, she just didn't make the catch. That is a foul. Come on back. So that ball hits the ground in the batter's box, so it is still a foul ball. Still in the batter box, batter's box. You got a two two count. Play. Fall down. Not necessarily. See, that one's hit back to the pitcher. Pitcher fields it, throws it to first, and that would be out number two. Or is that out number three? Well, that's out number two. I think five runs just scored. That's what it is. All right, into the third inning. Black Pirates trail 3 2 12.
So on one hand, we're not swinging the bats quite as good as we normally do, but also defensively, we have really dug ourselves into a hole here. We gave them a lot of runs that we should have had out. And uh, they've also been, you know, doing the other side of that one there. They've been keeping up from scoring a lot of runs and forcing us to leave runners stranded on base. So it's just by this season been with this team. We have, I think, split all the games, or they may have one win up on us at this point, but we mostly split the games with them. We've played a lot of close games against this team. It's actually been really fun. I've enjoyed it. So we find ourselves down by nine runs here in the last inning. We needed the mercy rule. We just couldn't stop them. We didn't have enough defense there. I mean, again, not to keep making excuses, but I mean, we did only have two outfielders. We normally play with four, and we're just really shorthanded. And even the hands we got, they're they're all beat up and they're bruised, and it's it's kind of showing here. Season's taking its toll, you know. So this is just uh just gonna be that game that we end up giving back. On top of that, you know, give credit to the White Pirates for good pitching and good defense here because they are capitalizing on every mistake we make. And that's a 6-3 for out number one. Thank you. 
Holy side. One, two. And we get a base hit. Runner is safe at third and at first. And wow, look at that throw back to the catcher. I don't know who threw that, but that was right on target, and that came in like a missile. Good thing we didn't run. And Black Pirates hit the ball right at third base. That's a 5-3 for out number two. But, hey, we did score another run. We now trail 4-2-12. There we go, big hit from our shortstop. She hits it deep, but their second baseman runs back and makes the catch. Wow, that is a good play, but unfortunately, that is out number three. We leave a runner stranded at third. But we only score one run this inning. Black Pirates trail four to 12. Diamonds in the rough, yeah. um, Juco, like 30 scouts there. We do it going to go real, 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 real hard. Oh, yeah. I do. I just want to watch. I remember when I came through, somebody hit nine years ago. Yeah. 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 The hardest that I ever seen that was trapped was 103. Really? Uh, another, uh, this was last year. Uh, this was before you had Huh? The lady? No, no, high school. High school. You're kidding me. Kid named Dylan Lesko out of Buford High School. Oh. I've heard about This is before you had Tommy Gun. He was supposed to go top five. Oh, no, he had Tommy Gun. Went, uh, went number 15, feet to the Warriors. Hell of a like six, he like six You hit the pitcher every time. Get the ball out front, all right? <laughs> it sound like gunshots. All right, second base is warming up the pitcher. We'll let her go out there and get herself warmed up. I'll catch her the pitcher here for a minute. Uh, we're getting our catcher back. She's going to come back out and catch again this inning, so give her a second to get her gear on here. And the, the catchers, they take pride in him. Uh, like, Blue, I got you. He, 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 he throws some real bad. And I heard about him on 100 miles an hour. That maybe not a fastball. I've got to be crazy. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good. Well, last year, that Buford team, they had nine other pitchers that threw 90 in the world. And it baby not too. That's why got so many fish in my 
There's a reason why entertainment rotates every four years. I'm get a rest, get a swing hard. Ten years in a row. <laughs> <laughs> You got time. You okay? Alright, here we go. Close. Yo, you heard it. Time has run out. Ball game is over. Black Pirates lose 4-12. to 12. Well, this is our final game against the White Pirates, at least to the playoffs. We'll play them in the first game of the playoffs next week. But for the meantime, we'll go congratulate them. They won this one, and they won home field advantage through the playoffs. But we were talking about just how fun this season has been. You know, this uh, this team here, the White Pirates, I mean, half of them were on our team last year. We all, we've all we all played together on different mixed teams throughout the past couple of seasons. So we've had a blast. We've had a lot of really close games, really good competition. But uh, 
know, the great team was the best team of the season. But for our two teams here, God, we kept I me. Mean, we ran down to the wire. We were half a game behind them coming into this game. Had we won, we would have had home field advantage through the playoffs. And with them winning, that means they got home field advantage through the playoffs. That's how close this season was. You know, and even the wins and losses, I mean, I think two of our losses are by one run against them. And two of our wins against them are by one run. So that's just the way this season's went. We've had a blast. It's been fun. But the regular season against the White Pirates is coming to an end. So from here, we will play the Gray Pirates on Saturday. And uh, the game now really don't affect the standings. So we're actually going to do a little bit more rotating than what we normally do. It's our last game to kind of let players kind of play their backup positions before we start playoffs. So that's the plan for Saturday. Hopefully the weather holds off as I am doing the editing right now. It is Friday and it has been raining all day long. Really hope the fields are good enough to let us play tomorrow.